Hello guys, my name is Sergei and welcome to another Geometry Dash mini game tutorial. Today we're going to talk about camera controls or camera movement, whatever you want to call it. And there are two possible ways to do this. Um, the first one would be free camera movement, so basically open world kind of camera. Or we can do it like Master Game uh, by Sponge, where when you move off the screen, the thing moves up and then you move and then it moves to the side and stuff like that. We're going to do the second way this time, where you move off the screen and then the camera moves with you. Instead of the free roaming, I might do that in a later tutorial if you want to, but for now we're just going to stick to that. So the first thing we need to do is select our map, which is this pink thing that I made. It's, it's really nothing special, just made it for the tutorial purpose. And give it a new group ID. In my case, that's 23. We're going to use a free layer. I think those are used. Nope, layer 6 is free, okay. So what we need to do is place some block triggers on every side. And every side needs to be a different group ID or block ID. Bip, 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 bip. And now we need another block ID, which is in this case 5. Um, one thing you need to make sure is that this thing is moving too. So in my case, my map moves with group ID 1. So I'm just going to quickly test that. Okay, that looks good. We, ha we have block IDs or collision blocks on all sides. And now we just need to make the camera move. Give them a new group ID, in this case 24. Or in my case actually. It's 100, because all objects that have the group ID 100 are invisible. But, yeah. So now, still, nothing happens. And what we need to do now is, well, obviously, make something happen. So let's do up first. My player is, I think, group ID 2. Uh, block ID, sorry. Okay, no, it's block ID 1. Okay, so now what you need to do is, and this is where the numbers come in. So my player is block ID 1. If your player has a different block ID, you don't have to care. Just put in your block ID for the player, okay? Doesn't have to be 1. Um, in my case, the top wall is 6, so I'm going to put in 6. If it's not 6 for you, then doesn't matter. Just put in your block ID, okay? Just, just to get that straight. Okay, the next free ID that is, yeah. Open to use this 24 for me. And we want to activate that ID. So quickly explaining this is my player hits block ID 6. And when that happens, group ID 24 is going to be activated. Okay, now we need two move triggers. One will move my player. And I know that it is group ID 2. If your player is group ID 5, then put in 5. If your player is group ID 7, put in 7, and so on. But for me, it's 2. We want to make that spawn in multi-triggered, so you can activate it whenever you hit that wall. And we want the player to move down. Let's try 100 for now. And the same thing needs to happen with the wall, uh, with, with your level, which is, in my case, group ID 23. So just put in 100 as well, or minus 100 in this case. We want to go up, so the map needs to move down, if that makes sense to you. Okay, and now we can basically test it. So, okay, that didn't work. So let's see why. 1 hit 6, activates 24. Ah, okay, first problem, I didn't make them 24. So if a spawn trigger doesn't work, or a collision trigger, or whatever, always make sure that you put in the correct group ID and that everything is yeah, put in correctly. And it should work now. Yes. As you can see, that is way too fucking far. So what we need to do now is put in, I guess, 70. I think that's still too far. Yeah, that's a bit too far. Because if I go down now, I would exit the map completely. And we don't want to do that. So I'm guessing that it's now 60. Yes, that works. So if I go down now, I would hit those uh, collision blocks and would go down again. To do that, all I need to do is copy this 
And now comes the important part, I need to change the group ideas, okay? So the next group idea that's free to use would be 25. So those are spawned by 25 again. And another thing I need to change is, this is collision block 4, so 1 hits 4 and activates 25. Make sure to change that as well. And we want to go down, so this needs to move up 69. Nice. So now I can go up, whoopsie, and I can go down. And that's what happens when you move a bit too far. So to avoid that, I still need to change it to, I guess, f 55. And 55 here. Now it should be good to go. Yes. I'm going to move down now. The whole thing moves down. Looks a bit weird in the editor, but when I actually play the level now, it should look like the map is just moving. Yes. Now we just have to do the same thing again and again. So next is five and seven, okay. So one hits five, activates 26. So we need to add the group idea here too. And uh, five is on the left side, so we want to move uh, to the left again. And now 100 should be good, because as you can obviously see, there's more room to the side than to, well, top and bottom. Okay, so if I move to the side now, I know that needs fixing. I will explain the fix soon for that. If I move to the side now, ooh, that's different. That's bad. Uh, want to move to the left, so I have to move it to the right. Some of you probably already knew that. <laughs> so if I move to the left now, I move all the way to the right. And as you can see, I put in the number 100, and I still am far from hitting that wall. So I could, I could theoretically put in even, I don't know, 120, and it shouldn't make a problem. So to the side, you can enter a bigger number now. So we hit 7, and that will activate group ID 27. Put that into the uh, move triggers, and make it move backwards. Okay, let's see if it works. We move up. Come on. We move to the left or the right. And we move down again. And if I wanted to, I can go up again. Uh, 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 uh. Further up. Further down again. And back to the left. So here you have your camera controls. If you have any problems with um, yeah, the camera controls, let me run over a quick fix. Check if all the walls have a different group ID. Check if you put in the right block IDs. So for me it's 1, 6, 1, 4, 1, 5 and 1, 7. If you have different block IDs then check if, well, you put in the right ones. Because that's the first thing that can go wrong. Second thing is make sure that every block triggers a different group ID. For me it's 24, 25, 23 and 27. But again those can be totally different for you. And make sure that the move triggers are spawn triggered, multi triggered, and have the right group ID in them. Remember that this collision trigger spawns 24, so make sure that the move triggers are group ID 24. Same for this one, it spawns 27, so we want to make sure that the move triggers are actually group ID 27. So make sure that, yeah, every move trigger has the right group ID entered into them. And I think that should be all that is to it. But uh, that's it for this video. I hope it helped and if you have any more problems or if you want to see a free roaming camera then tell me in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!